welcome to the 157th meeting of toastmasters amrita bangalore and before we start with the meeting and officially start having fun let's remember our three offline rules first one is turn off all your noise making devices let's take 2 seconds to do that right now okay thank you second rule is that it's a new rule to me as well no one is allowed to enter or exit the hall when some a speaker is speaking and it can only be done when either somebody is clapping or when the speaker is not speaking and as much as we love controversial topics like sex religion and politics in this meeting today let's avoid that or if you have to absolutely talk about that put it in a way that it does not offend anybody and now i will hand over to the presiding officer to open the meeting and take it forward gopika please come on stage thank you toastmaster durga good morning everyone can i get a... yes it's great to be offline again right at least hybrid for now so welcome to meeting 157 themed elevation and harsha toastmaster harsha has a lot of things in mind so before that let me open meeting number 157 themed elevation so with everyone coming back to campus and everything being online offline and a transition going on things are going to be a bit tough for all of us but we are going to try to make the best of what we have and let's see how our first hybrid meeting goes and with that being said we have a guest right now i'm not sure if they can hear us anusha can you please introduce yourself um hello um, my name is uh, anusha and i'm first year yes and amrita uh, I'm, i haven't been to the campus like since the beginning so yeah <laughs> thank you anusha for your introduction welcome to tabs 157th meeting i hope you enjoy and have a great time now with regard to announcements uh, the first thing i want to say is that renewals have opened up so all of you please make the job of our treasurer easy make job of toastmaster govin easy and renew your membership now the second thing is just that everything is just transitioning so just let's go with the flow and see where it takes us and we'll try to make the best of it with that being said we have the area conference also coming up in march 19th which is almost the end of this month yeah so the area conference also coming up so let's just encourage everyone and that's it for now i'll hand over to the tmod toastmaster harsha good morning everyone govind please don't switch off your video oh you can't it's offline durga will keep your video on it's offline there's no other option well upika all right come to today's theme elevation what are we exactly talking about here anyone is having any ideas anything yeah i'm standing at an elevation thank you huh linkedin the elevation on linkedin gives me heart attack yeah uplifting thank you thank you everyone for your answers so well coming to elevation the first meeting that i attended in toastmasters was an e learning hall I was exactly sitting there at the end fourth row from the end and the ttm was exactly standing here and the ttm said anyone wants to attempt a table topic there was a silence and all of a sudden someone somewhere raised their hand they went on to say spoke for a while there were almost 10 topics there were almost there were almost 10 topics and with each and every topic i was trying to go on to the stage but you know what i wasn't able to i was just sitting there in the back with my legs shivering even without going on to the stage the first thing toastmasters elevated in me was fear 
Now, as is, as in thinking about Toastmasters, Toastmasters International is a huge organization which was established on the twenty second of October in nineteen twenty four. Right now, we're having three lakh fifty thousand plus members with fifteen thousand eight hundred clubs around one forty nine countries. Well, that's an achievement to talk about. Please clap. Well, now moving on, I would like to hand over the stage to a person who himself calls him a clown, and he is currently the secretary of prayer and who has been running around the college for a lot of things from the past few days. Over to the general evaluator, Toastmaster Ganesh. Thank you so much for the introduction, Toastmaster Harsha. I will be the general evaluator for today. As it's our first offline meeting, I'm very excited about it, and we don't get the privilege to sit down and evaluate people, so I'm actually sad about it. Well, moving on, I'd like to call upon the timer of the day, Toastmaster Niharika, who is a fitness freak, a topper, and all in all, a perfect human being you could ever get. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Niharika, to become on the stage. time is what we want the most but we use the worst good morning everyone this is niharika i will be the timer for the today in our toastmaster meetings we have three segments the first one is the prepared speeches today we have two ice breakers the time limit for the ice breaker speech is 4 to 6 minutes at 4 minutes i'll be showing you this green card at 5 minutes i'll be showing you this yellow card and at 6 minutes i'll be showing you this red card then comes the second segment we have the table topic session which lasts for 1 to 2 minutes at 1 minute i'll be showing you the green card at 1 and 1/2 minute i'll be showing you the yellow card and at 2 minutes i'll be showing you the red card and the last segment that is evaluation we have 3 minutes for the evaluation i'll be showing you the green at 2 minutes and 2 and 1/2 minute i'll be showing you the yellow and 3 minutes i'll be showing you the red card each speaker has the 30 seconds of the buffer time i request everyone to follow this time limits and keep track keep track of your timer cards at the end i'll be back with my report when called by the general evaluator thank you over to the general evaluator thank you toastmaster niharika for the brief introduction well moving on i'd like to call our our counter of the day who is a enthusiastic member of tab and a first year he joined tab in his first year and he says he learned many things formally and informally and he is looking forward to this meeting over to toastmaster vishnu i was actually shy to speak on the stage <laughs> i was still shy to speak sorry if i say anything wrong and no thank you toastmaster ganesh for the introduction i was really glad to hear that and i am going as you all know that i am playing the accounter for today's speech for today's meeting as the ganesh brother already uh, earlier said what do you all know about accounter do who writes us arms that's it and he will show the presentation at the end of the meeting that's it no it's not accounter he has to count and and has to say to everyone to not to repeat those in the next meeting you have to decrease those as ums crutch words filler words pauses and everything in the, in the next upcoming meetings that was the accounter's main aim but i cannot see in the online meetings i hope i want to see that in the offline meetings from now on and coming to the accounter's main duty he has to write down the crpfs crutch words repetitive words pauses and fillers but what is in by crutch words or filler words he will say something and you will guys oh listen and that's it that's not the thing many were many of you were using crutch words and filler words as a all uh, as i took many roles as an accountant in the online meeting if you want to use crutch words or filler words make a pause a slight pause is required at that time i i agree to give you a pass when you are trying to use crutch words or filler words a pass is required there and also uh, the repetitive words do not try to use the repetitive words 
uh, as you know as you know we will we'll try to repeat those words and the pauses and the filler words uh, we use filler words to use as a crutch words in the speech uh, to get the next word in our mind use a pause at that time and uh, this uh, in this encounter uh, as an encounter uh, i want to say that this is not a contest or anything like you, you can uh, you can you all can learn from the normal meetings and that's it from my side what to general level thank you toastmaster vishnu for that detailed explanation of our counter moving on with the meeting i'd like to call our grammarian who says it's her first offline meeting and is very excited for this meeting she wants to know how she feels when she's on stage elevated or tensed over to toastmaster lakshmi good morning toastmasters and guests present here as a grammarian in today's meeting i'll be looking into the good usages and not so good usages and if any quotes uh, someone uses and i'll also be giving the word of the day and idiom of the day uh, the word of the day is uh, there are few synonyms you can use any of any of them and you can use synonyms of these words as well so those are upgrade achieve heights it means rise to a higher position or place example india has reached greater heights under the leadership of prime minister coming to the idiom of the day to to come a long way it also means the same to rise or uh, get to a greater position or place example medicine in india has come a long way in recent years so i request you all to use the word of the day and idiom of the day uh, in your speeches or whenever uh, you can use them and include increase your vocabulary and i request all of you to show a thumbs up whenever someone uses the word of the day or idiom of the day and uh, that being said i'll be back at the end of the meeting with my report over to the general vice president master ganesh thank you to master lakshmi for that brief explanation well that's it from me the general evaluator i will give my report at the end of the meeting and now i'd like to call upon the toastmaster of the day toastmaster harsha thank you so much toastmaster ganesh and the tag team well i'm so pumped up hearing the claps because it gives me immense of energy when i'm on the stage well that being said we know that every toastmasters meeting has three parts in it the first one is the prepared speeches second one the table topic session and the third is the general evaluation session well with that being said let's move ahead to the first section of the meeting the prepared speeches today we have two ice breakers and trust me ice breakers are the best thing that one can ever hear they are the most authentic tales now our first speaker to for today is someone who joined tab a while ago who has been trying to give us ice breaker for a while and when it was online he said bro i went to that picnic i didn't i couldn't give my ice breaker now now he's here in the offline mode giving his ice breaker directly big round of applause to toastmaster pranith come on to the stage all right before toastmaster pranith starts his speech i would like to request his evaluator toastmaster gopika to read out the objectives Thank you so much, Toastmaster Gopika. Toastmaster Pranit, whatever happens, happens for good. Whatever happens, happens for good. Toastmaster Pranit. Thank you, T M Harsha. Whatever happens, happens for good. This is what I have learned in my life from the past two years, and I would like to deliver the same using my uh, icebreaker speech. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pranit. and uh, today i'll i'll be giving my icebreaker speech first let's start off with my name my name is adusumilli shiva rama krishna pani now that's a really big name so people call me pranite sir ke my uh, nickname is pandu so don't don't tell anyone and uh, also my roommates call me aps rtc pani 
now uh, oh, that's weird so i was born and brought up in hyderabad so hyderabad you know is uh, famous for uh, you know irani chai uh, charminar ismail bhai ismail ke patte hain hum and uh, biryani people some fake hyderabadi say paradise biryani is the best i don't know what what taste buds they have but uh, my current favorite is pista house thank you so next uh, i was born on 15th akro 2002 my brother was born 5 years after that and uh, my pa- my dad uh, works for commercial tax and my mother is a housemaker and the main discussion in our house right now is uh, my brother is in 10th class so next day t what's next so my father is like so a brother doesn't want to do engineering my father is like hey why you don't want to do engineering ha huh? if others can do why can't you do are you important oh sorry are you not important my mother is like are cheira engineering em kaadra nu engineering ches sorry mpc cheste nu commerce kelachu malli if you go you can go to commerce you can go to uh, science or you can go to humanities and i am standing there and i'm like uh, bro you have said the same thing to me after my 12th board sir uh, my dad is like okay you want to do commerce then why did you do mpc if sharma ji ka beta can do why can't you do mpc so i am like uh, bro do commerce only like uh, don't uh, don't come into this you will land into engineering only no other option so let's discuss about my school life right now so school life uh, i was a pretty shy kid very introverted shy kid and i used to get a lost uh, I, i used to get lost a lot of times those are very uh, funny stories and uh, one of the most interesting thing i have uh, in in uh, in the school life is uh, i i went to a picnic one day and uh, i got lost and uh, everyone was searching for me and uh, i just went uh, i just went to the the security office there and sat, just sat there and uh, i was just i was just chilling there and uh, everyone was searching and no one no one knew that and that's the thing and uh, after uh, after the, these things i i changed my school in 6th grade and uh, i went to i started like improving a lot like speaking skills and all and 7th grade i uh, basically uh, did a homemade air conditioner so it was like a bucket with a fan and dry ice so i got a first prize for that but uh, i was laughing from inside because uh, they didn't uh, it was dry ice so dry ice is carbon dioxide if you put that ac in like a uh, room and sleep you'll not wake up in the morning you'll be dead only that's the thing and uh, after that i just gave my uh, 10th grade uh, exams it, it went well and uh, in 11th grade i i was joining uh, i wanted to join a cbse school because i am not interested in this uh, chaitanya narayana type of things and my parents were supportive of it now this is where my topic comes uh, whatever happens happens for good so what should i say firstly the 11th uh, mpc is very 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 tough i failed in chemistry for the first time i failed in a subject i failed in chemistry uh the friends were like okay and uh, at the same time i developed vitiligo you have you can see my face right there and uh, it was it was like a bad environment and uh, to top it all off uh, one fine day in my 12th grade i i had like some chest pain it was radiating to my left hand i am a very big fan of uh, grey's anatomy so what what in my mind was there heart attack heart attack heart attack we were so scared ecg 2d echo tmt everything with it and it last what is what it was just a gas pain now why am i telling you all of these things because these are these are these are all bad experiences if you hear that but 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 from uh, my side these actually turned out to be a very good experiences for example now italy go like everyone it's just a social problem there is a, there's nothing wrong uh, physically uh, there's the, it doesn't have any wrong problems so we were sad my parents were concerned about our future you can understand what uh, future will be i was also concerned but at some point of like after like few months i was like or uh, no this it's done i'm i'm not i'm not interested i'm not interested in how what people care about me uh and i i i just remember one thing and i wanted to say to you you guys follow it you cannot change what happens yesterday you cannot determine what is going to happen tomorrow you can only you can only be in the present stay in the present and uh, do what uh, in the present and chemistry the second thing i failed in chemistry i joined a tuition and i love chemistry if you go to my instagram account all memes are chemistry memes only see once and uh, the third thing uh, ha, this ha, gas pain thing that was you think that's a bad experience but i got to know i had some little bp so 
I I caught that before uh, before it got worse and uh, treated it. Now I'm fine. Those are the things. Uh, in conclusion, what I want to say is uh, just plan, just uh, enjoy what God has planned for you, or nature has planned for you. Nature is the ultimate uh, ultimate God. Just enjoy what uh, nature has planned for you. Just uh, just be happy. Nothing is permanent. And uh, one last thing I want to say is uh, don't look for certainty. Okay. Stay uncertain. If you look for certainty, you will be, uh, you can never stay happy and uh, you will have always problems. So stay uncertain, guys. Thank you. I hope you liked my therapy session. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Praneet. I really loved your speech and I love how you emphasized on staying in the present. That ex that's exactly what happened two days ago, I think. We randomly went to Smithama and she said, go have offline meetings. Well, whatever happens, happens for good. All right. With that being said, let's move ahead to the next speaker for today. Toastmaster Vinay, who is a dancer and he expresses himself through dance and he wants himself to express through words. And that's why he joined Toastmasters. Onto the stage, Toastmaster Vinay. And to evaluate him, we have his very own friend, Toastmaster Govind here. Toastmaster Govind, can you please read out the speech objectives? Thank you so much, Toastmaster Govin. Toastmaster Vinay. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Toastmaster Vinay. Okay. My first speech on offline. So I was very sure. Not I was like I was not sure for the speech. It was too high, so that I was sure. Okay. Hello, Toastmasters. I am Vinay. Am I audible? Yeah, I, I am Vinay. Okay, let me tell you about an event. Well, I love I love to dance. Well, I was in seventh floor. One of my friends, a cute little guy, I call him Jimson, came to me, <laughs> came to me and started speaking speaking about someone. And during a conversation, he thought he told me about someone whose character was very interesting. So basically, his character was very interesting, and he's an introvert and a kind of talk active. So he didn't say me his name. So let's keep him, uh, let's give him a name. Can anyone suggest a name? <laughs> a good name. <laughs> okay. Rowdy is quite better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Our so-called Rowdy. Uh, Rowdy is a good guy. <laughs> Rowdy always loves to dance, always loves to eat candies, and he's a childish person. He always, he always dances, and he acts to express, and overacts to escape. Okay, uh, he loves his father very much. Like, his father was Mr. Srinivasrao, and his mother was Ms. Vasri. His father always supports him. Obviously, parents are always supporting to the children. Uh, his mother always supports him. His mother always supports him. She's a good cooker and she cooks well the biryani and the sambar. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he loves listening to he loves listening to the music. He he won't even take off his headphones even an hour without without music. Okay. Let me tell you about an incident. After dancing, he went to a cafeteria. While ordering, he's he's going to the bearer and he's saying like, "Bro, give me two chicken noodles in Amrita cafeteria." And the bearer was like, "What are you asking, bro?" He's like, "Are bro, give me two chicken noodles, bro." Then his friends were like, "Are we won't get chicken noodles here, bro?" He was not in the state of mind and he was again, again and asking, again and asking, again and again, "Bro, give me two chicken noodles." 
and then he re remembered and he said okay okay sorry my bad and he always says about his friends his friends always pushes him forward i think uh, he continued saying that that this person the rowdy when uh, okay wanted badly wanted to dance for kalakriti 2019 okay then he opened the uh, online forms and applied for the singing competition okay he applied for a singing competition and his friends wanted to make him laugh and they forced him to sing on the stage he danced very good that's not first prize or second prize the last prize that's not important and he went to the stage he sang a song which was a disaster <laughs> and everyone said that don't speak it again bro please don't sing it again bro please also he always says that friends uh, about his friends friends were he he don't have friends he got family <laughs> okay friends were the only people with whom we can share everything like that is the reason why we connect to them more uh, also also uh, i would like to share one incident an incident with occurred him uh, during the college times he woke up at 7:45 uh, when his classes were at 8 o'clock so he he went to the bath he came but his roommate left by locking the door and he was with a towel <laughs> waiting outside of the door so he he told one of his friend to uh, go to his roommate and bring his keys so his roommate came got the keys he got ready he went he went to the class after going to the class the teacher came to him and said so you are the bathroom boy the whole class was laughing and he, this guy that guy that guy was not <laughs> that guy was not even understanding why they are laughing and what happened actually is this roommate went to the teacher and said ma'am one of my roommate has stuck in the bathroom ma'am he was not able to open it and uh, they all laughed him and this person's name was svv virabhadra rao and that's me who was speaking to my friend ganesh okay presenting you mr vigneshwara venkata virabhadra rao vinay thank you thank you so much to master vinay i'm pretty sure that no one is going to call you bathroom boy from now i'm pretty sure about that well with that being said let's give a big round of applause to toastmaster vinay again all right now speaking about elevation again there are a lot of instances that happen when we stand on this elevation we black out we forget lines we look at hands sometimes <laughs> and some other times we speak normally like human beings all of these happen on this elevation but something that this elevation gave me was anxiety total anxiety i remember taking up a role of grammarian one day and trust me when i was giving the report i covered my face with the book okay you you didn't speak i think you didn't speak anything wrong all of this happened and at the end my general evaluator said those master harsha you were good on the stage thank you well all of this happened on this elevation but what we have to remember when we are on this elevation is to enjoy this is to enjoy speaking if you're having a bad day come back onto the stage talk about the bad day if you are on this elevation talk about that good day you're having all the mixed feelings or whatever the feelings are this stage gives you the platform to express you and toastmasters provides this platform to each and every one of you to a table topic session now talking about impromptu speaking we all know how good we are at impromptu speaking come on to the stage speak for 1 to 2 minutes we'll speak anything we want so for that to happen now i would like to invite toastmaster dinesh who's been moderating the whole online platform for this hybrid meeting and toastmaster dinesh who is our vp pr on to the stage toastmaster dinesh
Thank you, Toastmaster Hasha, for that lovely introduction. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Is it though? No, right? Embarrassing, right? You just want to walk off the stage, right? If there's one thing I would say to new Toastmasters is go if they're worrying about what do I want to talk about on the stage? If I am, if I forgot something, if I embarrass myself out, what do I do? I would say just one thing. Just go to the stage and embarrass yourself. If you are a shy person, if you are an introvert person, if the one thing that keeping you introvert is that shy, that shy particle, if you go ahead and uh, go ahead on the stage and embarrass yourself, there's no uh, shy anymore. Everyone will know who you are and what you are capable of. So that leaves you and relieves you from the pressure, right? Now, with that motivation, with that thing I gave you, with the enough motivation, Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. I am Dinesh and I'll be the table topics for today, table topics master for today's meeting. As a table topics master, I'll get the privilege to give you people who are attending the meeting the opportunity to hone or practice on your impromptu speaking skills, which is a very survival skill that we need in these days. Impromptu skills are talking on the, on the stage with the thought process that is flowing in your head, right? Now for the benefit of the timer, the time limit is one to two minutes for a table topic and beware of the red card, which is when you have to wrap up your table topic to keep the meeting in the timing limits of the agenda. Now with that, let us begin the second segment of today's meeting that is table topic session for that. Who is ready to volunteer for the first ever table topic in the first ever hybrid meeting of Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru. <laughs> And I'd like to add on one thing. The good thing about this session is not only members, the guests can even attend them to attempt a table topic. So feel free to raise the, raise your hand. Yeah. Come on. Minai. Toastmaster Vinay, your topic is you have to convince your father that you will live in PG. How do you do that? <laughs> Is the topic clear? All the very best. Okay, this scenario actually happened. These guys were going to PG, these four idiots. And I was, I was like, I was badly wanted to join them. And I told my father, 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 there is Corona. Please, please, I'll go to PG. Then he's saying in PG, there won't be Corona. My father was, uh, uh, okay, father. Okay. Okay. I was like, father, I can't read in hostel. These guys, these guys were more adopted to me. And I was, I was saying to him and he was not at all listening. He was just saying, no, no, no. So I thought of, uh, convincing my mom and saying, um, saying her to convince my father. So I went to my mom and asked her to convince my father. So I went to my mom and I was asking my mom. A mama, please tell the father that I, I would like to go to PG and my mom, my mom was also not agreeing for the PG. And if I actually wanted to convince him, I would go to him and say actually what I does in PG and I would tell, I would study and first I would uh, get good marks. Actually I won't get, <laughs> okay. I, I would tell, I would get good marks and I would show him and after Fourth year, maybe. Fourth year, I would go. Then he will agree. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay. Now, that's the journey that most of the third years would go through, and only few of us would succeed in the final attempt. <laughs> Who will be the second volunteer? Come on, Toastmaster Givrish. Now, if there's no question related to mental health, that's not a uh, attempt that is uh, given by Toastmaster Dinesh, right? That is me. Now, your topic is Toastmaster Girish. How's your life? How's your life, Toastmaster Girish? Okay. 
my life was as he said i also talked about my i also talked to my parents about going to pg <laughs> uh i talked to them and they, they were like outside corona is there and and all and i i gave them i gave them a nice example by saying them like in pg they only have 100 people and in our hostel they are like 1000 people so it would be better in pg <laughs> but somehow they are really smart and they got to know my plans <laughs> uh after that uh, after that uh, i gone through some resources about what and all i have to take to hostel because it's been 2 years i forgot everything about hostel and it was nice and when it comes to my life it was pretty much same <laughs> and the major shift the major shift i got was the placements and all <laughs> i don't know anything about that and i was a little bit scared about it and at one point i also took the decision about leaving those masters for a while but somehow it but somehow i ended up as secretary so i have to be uh uh so i took the decision of to continue for 6 4 months uh after that yeah after that when it comes to classes when it comes to classes i i i i, I go to the i went to the class first and i sat up on the end, last bench but somehow <laughs> but somehow my but somehow my friends forced me to sit on the first bench because they are even more scared of me and they pushed me so it was a little bit sad uh that's it thank you thank you dos master girish now do we have any next volunteer come on dos master vishnu dos master vishnu your topic is one thing you always wanted to share to that one person one thing you always wanted to share to that one person over to you toastmaster vishnu thank you for the question toastmaster dinesh i really wanted to say the answer to the question waiting for many days and that person is in this hall to my mentor <laughs> that one thing is in a teams meeting she will say something and i don't even get those words that's what i am trying to say this with this very these days but i would, if i say that at time she will roast me she will say me again and again until i get that and that one thing she will say and i say yeah i remember i got it i got it but she, but she was very insolent she will ask what you got tell me i would say yeah i got it i got that's it that's it but she never gonna spare she will again again and she will say the meaning of that word with respect to me she will say she will decrease her slowness her fastness in explaining her anything like that. the those master web page uh, while reading the objectives and all and that's the thing what i would like to say the one thing to one person in a those master thank you dosmaster vishnu dosmaster gopika hope you will reduce simplify your vocabulary for our sake now do we have the next volunteer yeah master gopika dosmaster gopika your topic is your perspective on dealing with confrontations your perspective on dealing with co confrontations dosmaster gopika thank you toastmaster dinesh for putting me on the spot for this now if anyone knows me here one thing that i actually am very bad at is confronting people i am so bad at it that that's one thing that i do not want to do anywhere you give me a role you give me a meeting you tell me to stay up all night i can do that it's not a big deal but the moment you tell me gopika please go to that person and tell what they are screwing up no i will do anything except that now the reason is very simple you do not want to strain relationships right you don't want to put a strain on that friendship and when you tell people that they're wrong they don't like you they'll do anything but like you 
and one thing i have known throughout my years throughout my childhood is that i am a person who always tries to please people you know that word people pleaser yes that's exactly what i was but when you have to face situations like that or when you are put on the spot just like what toastmaster dinesh did you have to tell it out loud you have to tell them how you feel sometimes you might end up breaking a few relationships sometimes you might ruin some friendships but at the end of the day you can sleep in peace because you told what you want to do i have lost so many nights of sleep thinking what i should have done what i should have said which we all do and even if you refuse to agree with me you know it deep inside your heart that you don't confront people especially if you have feelings for them maybe a crush maybe your parents you always have things that you want to tell right so one thing that i want to tell you guys is it's okay to break a few relationships it's okay to lose a friend who does not give that value to you confront them ruin that friendship if it matters it doesn't at all matter just like how i put those must dinesh and i said you're putting me on the spot those must dinesh but it's okay what do those must dinesh Thank you, Dosmaster Gopika, for a chronic overthinker like me. I would like to quote that I lost many sleepless nights thinking, "What should I have done, or should I should I have said, and all those things." And yeah, I certainly follow your words. And considering I don't have many topics, can we move to the guest if they are interested? Guest can raise your hand if you are. willing to attend the topic okay no problem anyone would like to volunteer from here those master durga those master durga best moment you have in tab or outside best moment you have in tab or outside toastmaster durga i guess this is one good morning toastmasters and guests present i think it was around january of 2021 and i was just randomly sitting and then i heard like somebody was saying that hey international speech contest is happening i'm like what is international speech contest and then they said you have to present a 5 to 7 minute speech i said okay i'll do it but then i completely forgot about it like a pro mba i said i'll write the speech on monday it was happening on saturday i'll prepare i'll stand in front of the mirror nothing happened on friday night around 12:30 said Oh my goodness! I have a contest tomorrow. I am going to be speaking in front of a lot of people, and it's going to be a contest. And I am going to be horrible at it, and because I hadn't even written my speech. And honestly speaking, I had no idea what I wanted to talk about. I knew that I wanted to talk about something that will matter to me, that will resonate with the people around me, and that will somehow create a positive impact. so all of this i knew was not going to happen in the next 30 minutes and i speak at one no matter what i speak it i sleep at one sorry and so i thought let's do this let's go to sleep wake up early in the morning then write i wake up i have three classes lined up till 1 o'clock contest is happening at 3 i have no idea what i want to speak and then i sat down and wrote about some things that affected me at uh, growing up and then i wrote about what i learned from it and what was the you know silver lining on the cloud and then i gave the speech i got on the stage said good evening toastmasters and guests and the power went down and that is how i came to be known as power pit either way and the power went down and i got so many calls asking me to come back can you come back in 2 minutes can you come back 
I was perfectly calm because I know I was going to mess up the speech anyway. So I was like, okay. But so many calls, freaking out, freaked me out. Then finally, I gave the speech, and I won that contest. That has got to be the best moment in Toastmasters and outside Toastmasters. Over to the different topics. Thank you, Toastmaster Durga. I personally know that story, and I know how you felt and how those words made us feel. And any volunteers? Considering we we got in college some three days back, what do you what did you like? Online meeting, online classes, or offline classes? Toastmaster Ratan. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry, good morning, everyone. I'm sorry. So I'm first of all so scared to come up. I was just thinking like, oh, one next I'll go, next I'll go. At last I came, and that's finished. So considering the online classes or your offline classes. uh first of all exams are going to start from the monday and i'm really really scared i did not study anything i have to go start my classes online recordings because i did not listen anything in the online classes so considering the classes it's fine it's okay if you come to the offline classes but exams are best to copy in online only because yesterday only we have exam i screwed it uh, it was very bad um considering the food the home food is always best all, uh, as you all know uh, mess food is some juniors i heard that mess food is okay but after a few days after a few months you'll feel that you're bored of it the cafeteria food is it was from same as the mess food uh, outside also i don't find any biryani which i like all that uh, not the hyderabadi biryani uh, so that's all <laughs> that's all i find thank you thank you toastmaster ratan i personally like offline meetings considering in online meetings for uh, if we uh, if we take tab meetings i always it is very hectic for me can sitting in front of the uh, screen every day like uh, doing nothing and just staring at the screen but this offline i just love it ice breakers are getting cheers and uh, standing ovations all these things i just i am just jealous at this point of time now <laughs> i have one more last topic who would like to volunteer come on toastmaster pranit what's the one quote you want to give to your younger self is it toastmaster pranit oti yeah good morning everyone i hope you enjoyed my therapy session before so one quote uh, which uh, i wanted to tell my younger self is uh, be the change you want to see in the world because uh, it's from mahatma gandhi because every we expect so many things from others but uh, we don't make any like you know changes we we don't change but we expect others to change how it is how is it possible like if you want something to happen you at least come up right you should try if you are not trying anything like uh, it's it's not possible you have to initiate the thing the, if you want something good to happen you have to initiate uh, you know the, the change we have to start the change and uh, we then we need to expect before only uh, it's not possible uh, we we cannot uh, we cannot expect others to uh, others to change unless we initiate the change that's it uh, thank you thank you toastmaster pranit that attempt uh, got me some thinking in my home my mother uh, tells one thing why are there no uh, there are no great leaders in this country not to not to throw political violence here but that my mother would say but whenever i ask my mother mother i want to be in politics i want to go i want to go serve my nation my mother immediately say why you any person can do no why you my father immediately would quote what pranit exactly said be the change that you want to change that's if i frame it correctly be the change you want to see yeah 
that's the quote my father would exactly quote and that got me remembering yeah thanks daddy thanks father and that's it for the table topic session to give a little more motivation if you have the courage to go ahead and embarrass yourself on the stage you can do anything you want right there's no stage fear you can you are not an introvert anymore you can be extrovert even that's it right just go ahead and embarrass yourself just go on the stage as toastmaster hash has rightly quoted and with that i would like to end the table topic session and over to toastmaster of master hasha Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinesh, for that wonderful table topic session. And we saw a variety of table topics there. Well, one person spoke about being the change, and some others spoke about mentor, and a lot of other things that we could see. Thank you so much for that wonderful table topic session, and a big round of applause to all the table topic speakers once again. For now, we're going to get a five-minute break. Timer, please show the red card after five minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Now we've seen a wonderful table topic session. We've seen two icebreakers today in the meeting. Now it's time to look at a little more gyan, maybe. Before that, we'll still talk about elevation. I'm not going to leave you, leave any one of you. I want to speak a lot today. All right. Now the third thing. Those masters elevated in me. Was hatred. Man, I hate those masters. I hate it a lot. I hate it so much that I can't leave it right now. At a point, I wanted to leave those masters because a lot of things. I wanted to leave those masters because it was hectic. I didn't like a few things in those masters. I didn't like a lot of things. But you know what? This moment right here. When I'm speaking on the stage, I love this moment. Look at you right now. When I'm speaking, yes, you man. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> this is the expressions that I need. This is the audience that I need when I'm on the stage. I like talking to people. I like interacting with people. I love speaking with people. That's why, whatever it is, I'll always be on the elevation. With that being said, now to make ourselves better while standing on this elevation, we have the general evaluation session. With that being said, over to you, the general evaluator, Toastmaster Ganesh. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Harsha. Well, like he said, I'm the general evaluator of the day, and it feels bad being the one giving gyan. It's like I'm an offline teacher just telling you what to do. Please don't hate me after this. Okay. So before I give my evaluation, I'd like to call upon the speech evaluator for the first speaker, Postmaster Gopika. Thank you, Toastmaster Ganesh. Toastmaster Pranit. Now, when I heard his speech, the first thing that I remembered was a saying by Master Uwe. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift, and that's why it's called the present. Yes, exactly. Now, when Toastmaster Pranit started speaking, the first thing that I noticed was how confident he is, how he is moving around the stage, how comfortable he is. Now, for a person who's standing on the stage for the first time, mind it, first time. I wouldn't be that confident, and I am standing here for the first time, just like him, and I'm giving an evaluation and not a speech. Now that takes guts, and that takes courage. So congratulations, Swasthya Pranit, a well done job. 
you had humor sprinkled throughout the speech people were smiling clapping they were enjoying your speech and that's the first and foremost thing about toastmaster if you can engage with the audience if you can make them smile you are already a successful speaker so you have done something that we take years months to to achieve or to do so i'm very proud of you as a speaker and i'm so happy to see how confident you are another thing that i noticed is the message that you were trying to deliver in the speech whatever happens happens for good now whether it was talking about your failing a chemistry exam now i have the same experience but i took it in a very negative note or whether it was about your condition or whether it was about your hand pain you saw something that was positive you saw a positive even in that negative situation now that's not something everyone can do it takes a lot of courage it takes a lot of thinking overthinking and rethinking to do that so the message that you sent out to everyone here is absolutely good and i'm sure that everyone here has taken that to heart now just like every other speech i'm sure that there's always space for improvement especially an ice breaker the one thing that i notice is like when you are moving on from one story to another for example when you were talking about your brother and how he's trying to choose between commerce and engineering and then you transitioned into your story your childhood chemistry or whether it was about education or whatever it was there was no flow so that is something that every speaker can improve upon and a small challenge would be to slow down just take a pause in between slow down your thought process and speak you're already an amazing speaker so amazing confidence great content and humor was sprinkled all over small improvement on the storyline and just take a deep breath in between your speech and your speech will go all the way all the best to us everybody thank you toastmaster gopika for that wonderful evaluation i completely agree with you is this your first time speaking on stage it's not like it was your ice breaker for me i was shivering i couldn't even remember what i was speaking but you made it and you even had conversation you had voice modulation i loved it the conversation with your father you had a deep voice for that it was amazing and i completely relate with your speech i am a hyderabadi and i love biryani not from pista house from shagas <laughs> and for all those who are wondering it's non veg biryani we are talking about not veg biryani uh, <laughs> so and toastmaster gopika you also did a wonderful evaluation i don't have any more points and it's the ice breaker and i was in awe i didn't have any improvements and it's the first offline meeting so kudos to you for that coming from online to offline is a big transition and moving on i'd like to call upon the second speech evaluator toastmaster govin to evaluate toastmaster vinay speech come in. uh first thing first please give a round of applause to toastmaster vinay toastmaster vinay you broke the ice come to your evaluation i'm going to evaluate in three segments that is your intro your body and your conclusion uh you you started with a uh, joke you started talking about then you you stopped with a joke and then you started with uh, talking about your friends your memories with them and all the stuff and then you came to in your body you started describing more about yourself and then you went blank for a second i guess uh, but the best part is you came back and you started with the same energy with the same jokes which made us laugh good as that and coming to a conclusion i have a suggestion for you you can end it with a note or something or you can just quote a good line and uh, the best part i loved on your speech is your energy your jokes throughout the meeting sorry throughout your speech and you maintain the same energy throughout the speech and this is not a guy i saw in the beginning who was so afraid to give a speech so i like this so 
you can now relax go get a pizza you deserve it please don't ask me to play <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Govin. I like your speech evaluation too. And uh, just to note to you, Toastmaster Govin, you forgot that you're holding a mic and you were just moving the mic around and not speaking in the mic. Well, over to our bathroom boy, Toastmaster Vinay, who had a wonderful speech. I don't have any improvements, but one thing that I loved about your speech was you had a smile on your face throughout, and it made us really happy. and your speech was wonderful that's all i can say those must have gone and covered all your points and moving on i'd like to call upon the grammarian those master lakshmi to give her evaluation okay coming back to the evaluation Yesterday, I was very excited when I heard that uh, we're having an offline meeting. So I wanted to attend the meeting very badly, but I thought if I don't take up a role, I'll end up sleeping in the hostel. So I took up Grammarly. Coming to the evaluation, uh, I didn't find any person using the word of the day or idiom of the day. <laughs> and a good usage is our Toastmaster Harsha used immense and authentic. uh pranit toastmaster pranit used impotent in his speech and toastmaster dinesh used privilege and chronic uh toastmaster durga used silver lining on the cloud and coming to not so good usages uh, instead of telling supporting me you can say supports me and uh, won't there be corona it can be corona won't be there and uh instead of fastness you can use uh, the pace the pace is fast and slow and instead of screw it you can tell screw up and i request you to use the word of the day and idiom of the day more frequently whenever it's uh, it can be used and that's it over to the silver one thank you toastmaster lakshmi well moving on i'd like to call upon the r counter toastmaster vishnu to give his evaluation I'm not gonna spare anyone. First of all, I would like to congratulate to those who didn't spoke any CRPFs or uttered any crutch words. Those people are S A Durga, P O Gokka, G E Ganesh, Speech Evaluator One. And T D M Dinesh, as well as T M Vody Harsha, a big round of applause for them. And coming to the grammarian, Postmaster Lakshmi, she is a only one crutch word that is R. And coming to the speaker one, speaker one, his speech was well and good. Like we all enjoyed listening to his speech. we were all clapping and laughing at him by by using by his words and he used a little crpfs in the speech which uh, which is not a very big issue like he will get to use the crease of them in the later meetings and the later speeches also and speaker 1 pranit he is a two plus us and speaker 2 Vinay, he is a two. He also is a two plus us, and he also used a uh, very less, very less repetitive word. And coming to the speaker two another time, he did followed my words by giving pauses instead of using C R P F scratch words and all. While you were searching for the next sentence in the brain, he used uh, pauses, and uh, he didn't use much C R P F also, and. A small request to him is not to dance dance on stage while speaking. And coming coming to the table topic session, TTS two Girish he used two plus crutch words and the repetitive words. Uh, he has to decrease the repetitive user of the repetitive words 
he was a major shift major shift after that after that but somehow but somehow and table topic speaker one also vinay also he used my mom my mom and he used and many things and coming to table topic speaker three as usual when i try to find asanams i get nothing she is gopika and table topic speaker four a few pauses were observed i i don't know whether they are allowed that is toshma sir durga like uh, uh, and to table topic speaker five ratan he is a one a and to table topic speaker six pranit he is a two plus as and tm body harsha as usual no crpf nothing that's it from my side over to general evaluator that was a very detailed evaluation toastmas vishnu thank you moving on i'd like to call upon the timer of the day toastmas niharika to give her evaluation please come on to the stage good morning everyone i'm back with my report we have started our meeting at 10:50 which is 20 minutes late to avoid this i request everyone to be on time or in time like 15 or 10 minutes prior to the meeting hall and coming to the saa toastmaster durga took 1 minute for introducing the rule, rules of the meeting coming to the prepared speeches our speaker one toastmaster pranit took 6 minutes 11 seconds and speaker two toastmaster vinay took 5 minutes 26 seconds and speech evaluators speech evaluator one toastmaster gopika took 3 minutes 11 seconds and speech evaluator two toastmaster govin took 2 minutes table topic sessions the first speaker toastmaster vinay took 1 minute 10 seconds toastmaster girish took 1 minute 30 seconds toastmaster vishnu took 1 minute 16 seconds toastmaster gopika took 2 minutes 8 seconds toastmaster durga took 2 minutes 20 seconds toastmaster ratan took 1 minute 4 seconds and toastmaster pranit took 1 minute exactly 1 minute coming to the tag team grammarian of the day toastmaster lakshmi took 1 minute 15 seconds toastmaster uh, our counter for the today toastmaster vishnu took 3 minutes as a timer i have few input for you guys uh, as we all know the first first segment speeches it's of 5 to 5 to 7 minutes or 4 to 6 minutes whatever it might be uh, before delivering your speech please check the speech length and coming to the evaluators to keep track the time uh, keep your points in such a way that divide them uh, like the good and not so good thing such that you won't cross the time if you have anything you can send you can contact them personally coming to the table topic sessions i found that someone were waiting for the green card and someone were overshooting like they were looking at the red and they were ending their speeches so to avoid this when you were given a table topic think think for a while like 5 to 10 seconds such that you will get something in your mind to speak so that you can you you can avoid the undershoot of the time yeah that's it from my side over to the general evaluator thank you toastmaster miharika for that detailed evaluation once again well it's time for my evaluation so let's begin the gyan from me so we started 20 minutes late like toastmaster miharika said i understand it's offline and there is a lot to set up but we still started 20 minutes late and we can try to be on time from the next time coming to sa toastmaster durga you did a wonderful job explaining the three golden rules and you even gave time for everyone to put their mobile phones on silent which was good one small suggestion i'd like to give you is try to talk about the team try to talk about what you think about the team so people who don't know what it is they get an idea about what the meeting is about coming to the presiding officer you also did a wonderful job well you opened the meeting and you gave an announcement and you did your job perfectly i have the same suggestion to you talk about the team and give your input or opinions on what elevation is all about coming to the toast master of the day well since it's an offline meeting after a long time the most energy i saw was from the toast master of the day even when i was giving the ge introduction i was about to call him i just said 
I and he was half half off his chair. Like he couldn't even wait to come. So you had a lot of energy and you even interacted with a lot of people in your uh, Toastmasters of the Day script. And you talked about elevation and you made us inspired to come onto the stage and embarrass ourselves. Right now I'm shaking and I'm embarrassing myself, but I'm okay with it. And then coming to the timer, our counter and grammarian, all of you did a wonderful job giving your introductions. You explained your roles really well, considering that it's the first offline meeting after a, a lot of time. A few suggestions that I'd like to give. First was timer, Toastmaster Niyarika. While, while you're telling one minute green card, two minutes yellow card, uh, put it up and show it. You had it all in your hand at once. Second, our counter, you explained your role really well, but try to add a bit more energy when you're speaking. Did you have breakfast? You didn't? Okay, after that, let's go to candy. And Grammarian, Toastmaster Lakshmi, you also did a wonderful job in your introduction. But one suggestion is while you're giving the word of the day, only give one word. If you give synonyms, people get confused on what the actual word of the day is. So that's the only suggestion I wanted to give you. Well, moving on with the speech evaluators, both of you did a wonderful job. Once again, Toastmaster Govin, I would just like to give you one suggestion, mention the time limit since it's an icebreaker, it's four to six minutes. So it, there might be a miscommunication and the table topic master Toastmaster Dinesh. Yeah. Toastmaster Dinesh, you gave wonderful topics. It seemed like you targeted specific people with your topics, <laughs> personalized and target. Yeah. And you even mentioned the time limit about the table topics, which was a good thing you did. One su suggestion I'd like to give is try to encourage people to use the word of the day or the idiom of the day and tell them to give a thumbs up while you're giving your toast, uh, table topic master uh, script. And you even gave little notes after their speeches, which was wonderful too. And all the table topic speakers also did a wonderful job. I mean, uh, two of the table topic speakers talked about PG. I don't know what's the whole, uh, to it's like hot topic on PG. I mean, just because of four people were all suffering. <laughs> and uh, one suggestion I'd like to give to the table topic speakers, two table topic speakers used screwed which is not allowed in a formal platform. So please try to refrain from using it. You know who you are. <laughs> and then, um, in the end, I loved the energy of an offline meeting. It felt very, I felt very alive after a lot of time. I mean, online, we just open the laptop and sit in front of the screen, but right now I feel really alive and energetic and it felt really good. Everyone had wonderful speeches. It was really fun and humor was all over the place while everyone was speaking all in all, I really had a wonderful time and, uh, I need to give the voting, uh, what do you call it? Chits. I give you the chits. You write the voting names. Um, before that, I'd like to call upon the Toastmaster of the day to continue his script. I didn't get up from my chair when you were calling. All right. Toastmaster Ganesh, please go ahead and provide the ballots. I'm pretty sure that you can't see this. Am I right? While you're writing, just let me know when you're starting out. I can give you the names. All right, shall we start? Can you see 
anyone has a query we are not doing online voting because there is no one online right now people drop off okay first let's go ahead with the big four big four g toastmaster ganesh ttm toastmaster dinesh toastmaster of the day toastmaster harsha and sa toastmaster durga You have to pick one name. Pick like four and a, and the name of the person you want to write. Yeah, only one name. Huh? Yeah, they are doing that. They can't see. That's why I'm just. Let's go ahead with tag team. Tag timer Toastmaster Niharika, accounter Toastmaster Vishnu, and grammarian Toastmaster Lakshmi. Right. If you're done, let's go out with the speakers. Speaker one. Going ahead with the speakers. Speaker one, Toastmaster Pranith, and speaker two, Toastmaster Vinay. Done. Moving on to the speech evaluators. Speech evaluator one, Toastmaster Gopika. Speech evaluator two, Toastmaster Govind. Madam President, if you allow, we'll go with best of table topics because to everyone today. Yeah. All right. While Toastmaster Ganesh does his counting, let's spend some more time. All right. How is meeting experience offline? Good. I'm not going to ask you to clap again. I know your hands are already paining. Now, uh, I was having a conversation with Toastmaster Sanjana two to three days ago, and she uh, asked me to give a video. She asked, 
people who are attending the offline meeting for the first time when they see the reaction of clapping i want that video i want that reaction now how did you feel when you heard all those claps ah good now toastmaster ganesh had a story he told me a story he was going to one of his uh, he was coming to one of toastmaster's meeting back in first year it's, it was an offline meeting so when he was coming he saw one of his senior uh, on the way so a senior asked where are you going he said i'm going to a toastmaster's meeting what is that people clap there we're going to a club where you just go on to the stage and people randomly clap that is what is happening there now i shared the same story with there was this platform where we should we, we had this chance to college students had this chance to express what we felt about toastmasters to the district director in 2020 so when that meeting was happening online i shared the same thing with the district director back then he asked me the same thing where do we clap do you have any answers too much of chemistry bro well all the answers are right because when you do nothing on the stage once once in a while when you just come out to the stage and just black out do nothing on the stage you stand here without talking anything this happens on the stage this happens a lot of times when you're beginning off as a speaker when you're beginning off as a toastmaster a lot of this happens now when we are getting down from that stage and when when he, when we hear people clapping for us we know that there are people who will support us that's what happens in toastmasters meeting and have been missing it in online everyone starts i can't do that sound when we're on now since we are back offline let's go with that round of applause once again thank you so much finishing off talking about elevation the last thing that i would like to talk about toastmasters what toastmasters offered me was confidence that's that's something toastmasters offers to everyone now toastmasters is something that i would always love to be with more than toastmasters i turned into a new person who can come on to the stage and maybe make a little sense i am making a little sense right he says <laughs> All right thank you so much that was my time over to the presiding officer toastmaster gopika thank you toastmaster the late toastmaster harsha while our general evaluator is still sorting out the results why don't like one of you or a few of you come forward who is sitting for the first time in a toastmasters meeting or anyone who wants to give a feedback on how today's meeting went because including me some of us are attending offline meetings for the first time ever and some of us are coming back on the stage after a long gap so any of you want to give feedback come on up it's not really a feedback but i just want to see this you because last last time i gave the table topic session was first time i'm standing i'm standing in the stage so <laughs> distracting okay uh one thing i really like in this meeting was the thing that said by pranit uh what he said was uh, something everyone has this uh different things i mean different aims and different things that they want to achieve but sometimes we often trying to do some things which we distract right for example someone someone comes to do something but some uh, but he will compare himself he will compare himself with some other people and he will try looking at them and comparing them and he will feel low right but at the time what i really found it helping what 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 that helped me was just knowing like what is the reason that initially first you came here i mean not in this course masters anything uh that really helped me for example when i came to this course masters and uh, i i i am here for uh, almost 8 to 9 months and uh, 
I compared with a lot of people who speak really, really well, and that aura they speak and they way they own the stage. It's really nice. But I always felt that uh, while well, well, I'm doing I'm doing this ghost master thing for uh, nine months, but uh, a little. I mean, my improvement is a little bit slow, but I I felt that uh, in online after, in before two or three months back. But what felt what uh, what given me so much confidence was something that I didn't do it uh, before coming to Toastmasters that I can do, I mean, I can participate before, I can participate without any fear and all. And that thing really helped me. For example, uh, initially when I was in my first semester, uh, I, I went to the stage for, to give the introduction, but somehow, as I said in my icebreaker, instead of good morning, I said good evening, something like that. And also you know, instead of my name, I told my brother's name. Uh, a lot of things happened, but something that I really felt good was, uh, I'm having that courage to raise the hand and go to the stage and speak something or as he said, embarrass myself on the stage that I felt really nice and that I can do now, no matter how I speak. And I know I'm not that fluent, but I'm, I, I got that uh, first move, that confidence to no matter what, just go to the stage and tell something and uh, deliver something that you prepared. That's it. And that I really learned. And, and one thing that I remember, what are you planning? to achieve. For example, my motive to come to Toastmasters was I have a lot of things going on in my mind that one, what my, what my main motive was just to keep that thing out to the people around me. And that was my main motive. And so I'm doing good at it. At that, uh, I, re I analyzed it myself, uh, how am I before and how am I after, that I'm doing really good. I mean, uh, it's not that I'm speaking greatly, but I can, I can, del I can keep out what was there in my mind. And that is my motive and I am doing, I'm, and I'm progressing in that. I'm very happy about it. Thank you that I want to share. With. Thank you so much, Dostmaster Girish. Now, uh, this reminds me of a moment I had with Girish, all the XCOM members had, so which he also mentioned. So when we were having an XCOM meet, he was so innocently asking, Gopika, can I take a break for a few months because I want to concentrate. And that's when he realized that he's the secretary of the club and he's like, oh my God, I forgot about that. But you know what? The best thing about being a Toastmaster is that we all help each other out. Whether it's in the XCOM, whether it's the PR team, whether it's in any team, or even if it's just for a meeting. For example, today when we had shortage also, Niharika was stepping up to be timer when Madhumita could not come. So it's all about helping each other, right? That's what I just remembered. Now, anyone else who wants to give a feedback? Well, that's a lot of feedback. Okay, come on, come. I guess being online for so long gives lots of feedbacks. So today morning, I went to HSR layout to get my bike and it was supposed to be uh, by 8.30 in HSR layout, but it was around 10.15 I got the bike. So I have this exam. I have my quiz at 10 o'clock and I didn't attempt the quiz. I didn't attempt the quiz. I didn't care about the quiz, but then in, uh, by 10 30, the meeting will start. So I came at a speed that I almost met with an accident twice. I just don't want to miss this meeting. I want to be in this meeting very badly. Okay. So like when I was saying, I didn't even brush my teeth. I didn't even take a bath. <laughs> I didn't even take a bath. I went, I woke up at eight o'clock and I went directly to HSR level to get my bike. And I don't want to miss this meeting very badly that I didn't uh, brush my teeth because online and offline, it's completely different. And I actually felt that. And I actually, uh, this is worth the risk. This is worth the risk I have taken. And yep. Yeah, thank you everyone for making this meeting a wonderful one and thank you. Thank you so much Toastmaster Pratap. It's okay. As long as you have a mask, you're good to go. And also drive safe, drive safe. It's okay. Yes. It's okay to be a bit late to a meeting, but be safe. That's the whole point. Okay. We'll make shorter, shorter feedbacks. Anyone else wants to give? 
I have the results in my hand, but you know, a little bit of anticipation. Hello, everybody. Hi, hi. How are you all? First time meeting most of you in person. This is not a feedback. It's my excitement to come to this meeting. And the first thing when I came to Bangalore, the first thing I'm excited about is meeting my friends. Only that and nothing. Rest all is depression or etc. etc. And the second thing that got butterflies in my stomach is this today's Toastmaster meeting. I woke up half an hour early, half an hour early before my roommates got ready just for this meeting. All the three of my roommates were shocked because never I woke up before them. And they are watching a movie now. And I was like, no, you guys watch a movie. I'm going to the Toastmasters meeting. And they were hyping me too. And coming to the excitement I have, I, I don't know why. This is everything so cool, so normal, so subtle. But in online meetings, whenever I have a meeting, it's like something meeting, meeting, meeting. Oh, okay. I have to be in the, I'm opening my laptop. There's some stress. Yeah, no, nothing. It's so nice. It's so calm. It's so cool. So enjoyable. And that's it. And you, and uh, the one thing I really love about Toastmasters and I got to love it eventually, not at the starting, is that all of these are a bunch of people like me. They are passionate about speaking. They know it's okay that if, if I fail, it's okay. They don't judge me. They support me. They, uh, like, uh, what do you say? The support or the confirmation you gave me that you support me was developed by different, different meetings. And I love that energy from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are waiting to see you take up roles again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Toastmaster Ganesh, you know who to call it. So uh, I'll cut short and announce the results. And then we will go back in an informal session and have feedbacks again, if you guys want to talk. But uh, with that being said, I have the results in my hand. So the best of big four. Any guesses? Yes, the best of big four goes to Toastmaster Harsha, RTA Modi for the day. Congratulations, Toastmaster Harsha. The best of tag. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of names. So the best of tag goes to Toastmaster Niharika for stepping up in the last moment. Congratulations, Toastmaster Niharika. Uh, best of the speakers. Now this is a tough competition, right? Because both of them were funny. Both of them entertained us throughout the speech. But by a slight difference, the best speaker goes to Toastmaster Praneet. Congratulations. Toastmaster made an amazing speech. And okay, this is embarrassing. Those my best of speech evaluators goes to me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. With that being said, we have come to the end of meeting themed elevation. And it's been my first Toastmasters meeting offline. So I have for all of you, a lot of people. And standing on the stage, honestly, I was a I was very skeptical and the first time I had a conversation with Toastmaster, my mentor, Toastmaster Asha was that, oh, it's okay as long as it's online. I can give as many speeches as you want. I will give speech from meeting to meeting, no problem. But the moment we step on stage, I might just disappear. That's something that I've told initially. But today standing on the stage, seeing all your faces, I know that this is a comfort zone for everyone. Even if you make a mistake, even if you, you, know, you, you, make, you make blunders, it's okay. And nobody is going to judge you. Even if they judge you, it's okay. If we have guests also, nobody cares at this point of time. Because we know who all are sitting here, who all support us, who all enjoy our speeches. And that's the whole point of Toastmasters. And I'm so grateful to be part of TAV and be here today. Because... Trust me, the moment I woke up, I, I turned around and said, no, I cannot get up. But I had to push myself and say, yes, I have to go. I have to go. It's the first offline meeting. And we are here. And it's the end of our first effort at a hybrid meeting. And let's hope 
for more meetings with that being said i'm closing meeting 157